My name is Jack. For a long time, it was the only name I had known. I was born and raised in a cave by my mother. We were used to getting by, but that year the winter had been harsh. I was proud to have killed my first deer that day. And while waiting for mother to help me cure it, I decided to practice my reading. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting Spain. <laughs> he has conquered the highlands and the plain. Uh, he... The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Before him, not a single fort remains. <laughs> Afternoon was approaching fast and mother still hadn't returned. So if I wanted to cure the meat, I had to do it on my own. Else it would all go to waste. It's warmer. Now I need some wet wood to make it smoke properly. There he is. Charles the Great, the protector of my town. You're coming with me. Huh? What's that? Mother will be proud. Now, what's that noise? be afraid. 
I'm going to follow him. You go home and wait for me, little cub. Don't move. We killed the pig thief in Salisbury. We can kill you too. Bloody outlaw. Where's the baby? Did you eat it? I don't have the baby. Right. What's this? Give it back. What do you want with this? You can't read. Give it back. Leave the boy be, Alfred. He, he took the baby. I saw him take mother's cloak. He's the only one around. Who else would have taken it? Wolves. A monk took it. A monk? Yes, on a horse. Is that true? <laughs> Where did he go? He should take us there. Leave him alone. He's just a boy. What is your name, boy? Jack. You live in these woods, Jack. Then you know this place better than us. Please. I don't know why I left the child. I thought I couldn't take care of him alone. But I cannot leave him to die either. I have to know if he's alright. Will you help us? You're a good lad. I owe you. If you want your silly book back, you better keep your word. For now, I had no choice. The girl was sobbing while her father remained tense but quiet. The boy kept on pushing me, which confused me greatly. I had never been hated before. If I had any plans of getting away, it would be like hunting deer. I had to stay sharp until the others were got to be. The monk had crossed a small stream, or he had followed its course north, which would have led him towards the next village. Either way, the tracks ended at a riverbed as evening was fast approaching. The big man looked at me. Which way, boy, he asked. But I could only guess. The stream led us to a more convenient crossing. Here, one could easily pass without getting drenched in icy water. Suddenly, the boy called out. He had spotted something on the other bank. A set of fresh hoof prints. We laughed triumphantly as our eyes locked. So, we crossed the river. The boy cheerfully mocking my skills as a tracker. What is it? He got us lost. 
did you? Papa, I'm tired. That's all right. Come on, up on my shoulders you go. No, I'm too heavy. I'm not too tired anyway. I will remain steadfast. You should all get some rest. Alfred, stay here with them while I take a look ahead. No, don't go. I won't be far, dear. Besides, you can do me a favor while I'm gone. Have an eye on the lads and make sure they get some sleep, all right? All right. See? You are steadfast. I won't be long. You stay where I can see you while my sister rests. And no tricks. What is it? Did, did you hear something? The fog is lifting. I don't like you. Tell me, why do you care about your book so much? Wait, wh wh where is it? You sneaky thief. I knew it. You just want to rob us. You took it first. You're an animal. You don't even know what it is. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Before him, not a single fort remains. What are you rambling on about? It's from the book. How do you know this? You're an animal. Can't you read? Hey, you see that? O over there in the fog. There is something there. What is it? A deer. It broke through the ice and died. Children! Martha, wake up, dear. Who's she? We met in the forest. I'm Jack's mother. Come here, Jack. Did you find him? Yes, dear, we did. The baby is safe. The monk brought it to a small cell not far from here. But we won't go there now. Ellen offered us shelter for tonight. I have. Follow me. If I'd known you lived this close, this might have been safe. Don't fool yourself. When a woman is bleeding inside, it either stops or it doesn't. All you can do is keep her warm, and you did that. I'm sorry, but the living must take care of the living. Jack, give the children some soup, will you? Will you be able to get work soon? Uh, it's hard to say. People don't usually hire a new master builder in winter. Too cold for stirring water. Thank Sometimes you, you get lucky, but not this year. Some time ago, I had work in Exeter. They offered me the post of builder for the Castellan to keep the walls and defenses in shape. And it would have kept me busy for the rest of my life. We would have lived like bishops. What happened? I refused. All I cared about was working on a cathedral again. I was a fool. <laughs> you can do better than to build churches. 
Well, I worked on one once. That was good work. I won't ramble on now. But if you ask Martha, she'll tell you everything about it. You know, a man like you should not beat himself so hard. No. No, there is no excuse for leaving my baby son behind. Women die in labor. Men abandon their children all the time. It is rare that they return. Is that what happened to you and your son? No. That is an altogether different story. One I haven't even told Jack yet. All I can say is, I raised him alone in this cave, outside of town law. Just us and the forest. How do you get by? We hunt, we gather. It works well enough for us two to survive. You can thank Jack for the meal, by the way. My little cub caught his first deer today, all by himself. I'm impressed. What's a cathedral? It's a big house for people to pray. They go there to rob each other? No, they don't pray on each other. They talk to God. It's a place of worship and a home for priests and monks. Oh. Eat well, children. You'll need your strength. And so do you, Master Builder. Go on, tuck in. I will. Thank you. They're asleep now. So, what is it? I told you that the monk had taken the baby to a small cell nearby. It's true, but I advise you to stay away from there. What? Why? Because you abandoned it. That counts as murder. Then, then I have to steal him. I have to own up to what I've done. I have to take back my son. Think for a moment. You have been out of work since summer. A baby needs a lot of care. More than your other children. How will you feed him? But what am I to do then? Live like you? I don't know a thing about hunting. I'm a mason. Even in a castle, I'm more at home than here. Leave the baby with the monks. He'd be warm and fed. You wouldn't have to carry him while you look for work. And when you do find something, you can come back and fetch him. I... I, I don't know. Since Agnes died, I don't know anything anymore. You're a good man, Tom Builder. You're kind and gentle and strong. You will do the right thing. You also don't have to go through this alone, you know. Jack and I will have to leave this place soon. The winter is too cruel and we might not survive if we stayed. We could all travel together. I don't know. I have my hands full with my children already. I can help you take care of them. If you promise to teach my son how to get along in the world of men. We may be strangers now, but we would be at each other's side, helping out however we can. The living must take care of the living. Yes. That night I dreamed of a strange world. One of knights and monks preying upon each other in a big, dark cave. There were small castles, dead deer, and a giant called Tom. In that dream I was happy. I tightly held my mother's hand, watching the kind giant and learning his mysterious ways. My brother is as stubborn as you are sometimes, but I trust him. The bishop has to see this letter.
My pony should be fed. Do I just take some hay? My pony needs to be fed. <clears throat> oh, why must I be so nervous? I trust Francis. He knows about these things. How can I help you? I have come to see the bishop. Who may I tell the bishop is visiting? I am the prior of St. John in the Forest. <clears throat> and what may I tell Bishop Whalerin is the reason for your visit? The bishop insists that I ask. I carry a letter that proves there will be a war. A war? Yes, but the bishop may be able to stop it. It is urgent, then. I will let the bishop know that you are here. Please, uh, wait here a short while. Here. You're still hungry, aren't you? Oh, I should not distract myself like this. I already took some hay. Better leave the rest here. I will stay and face the bishop. I must. <clears throat> God, tell me, what do you want me to do? The bishop will see you now. The right reverend Bishop Whaler in Bygod. Please, sit down. <clears throat> Thank you, Right Reverend. Please, call me Waylaren. <clears throat> Timothy informed me you are the prior of... St. John in the Forest, Right Reverend. Then you must be Philip of Gwynedd. <coughs> I'm surprised you know my name. As bishop, I am the ex officio abbot of Kingsbridge. So, <laughs> I am bound to take an interest. Well, God has blessed us in St. John. I wish God would confer similar blessings on Kingsbridge Priory. Timothy said you were talking about a... a war. I expect you know that Stephen of Blois has claimed the throne of England. <coughs> With the blessing of the church. Already? I had heard of plans and of aspirations. This is very good. I have met Stephen. As bishop, I am much involved in politics. Of course, the church can never be involved enough. Hmm. Now, how do you know of this? Ah, your brother Francis is working for Earl Robert of Gloucester, is he not? Did he tell you? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> no, 
I heard at a guest house on my way to Kingsbridge. Unfortunately, I rarely see my brother. You both must be very busy indeed. You mentioned a war. Tell me, Philip, why are you here? Oh. Was I wrong to come to you, my bishop? Maybe I should have taken the letter to the Sheriff of Shiring. Eustace is ungodly, arrogant, grasping, and corrupt. So are all sheriffs. Philip, how did you get this letter? I found it among Prior James's documents in Kingsbridge. I am staying there for a few days. Prior James? May he rest in peace. Did he not order everything to be burned? You know about this? Sub-Prior Remedius mentioned it once. I asked them not to burn James's books. The brothers agreed. Well, and there you found the letter? Yes. Timothy, leave us. And did you find anything else? No, just the letter. The messenger carrying it had an accident and died near Kingsbridge. <sighs> A war would cost so, so many lives. God thunders wondrously with his voice. He does great things that we cannot comprehend. The book of Job. But this is not the work of God, but of Earl Bartholomew. <laughs> you are truly the man I have heard so much about. I will call on friends of mine. Pray for us that we can put an end to Bartholomew's plan before it is too late. You did a brave thing for our church, Brother Philip. A brave thing indeed. <sighs> You'll go back to Kingsbridge Priory now and forget about the Sheriff, won't you? I will. And uh, don't speak of this to anyone there. I shan't. We should leave. I'd better feed her before we leave. Huh. I'd better leave. I shouldn't push my luck. We will find you something to eat on the way, old girl. Did you pack enough food? It will be a while before you get to eat smoked venison again. Yeah, yeah. I took some. Anyone seen Martha? She said she had to piss. All right. I'll uh, go get her. You're a mason too, right? Uh-huh. So, what have you built so far? I'm sure Jack would love to hear about your work. Houses. I mostly carve rocks. I haven't built much yet. That must be hard work. Right. Tell me, how are you getting along? Fine. You know, you don't have to be afraid of me. Ugh. Even the good ones are starting to taste bad. I'm not afraid. <laughs> They're looking 
looking for you. I don't want to leave. It's so dangerous out there. I don't want to get robbed again. My mother will protect you. She's strong, isn't she? Papa usually protects me. You can't always be around. He needs to take care of himself too. You need to learn to defend yourself. I want to, but I'm still so small. And I want to stay here where it's safe. This knight is Charles the Great. He will protect you. Oh. Am I his princess? You are. Together, you are brave and smart and will never give up. <laughs> All right. I have to stay steadfast. Thank you, Jack. Come on, we're going on a great quest. On our way, I told Martha the names of my trees. There was the birch, Jerusalem, and the oaks, Alexandria and Byzantium. When I pointed out Rome, she laughed and named an apple tree Southampton. The farther we walked, the merrier she became, christening all the new trees, Winchester, Bath, Salisbury, while I grew quieter and quieter. Finally, we arrived at a large road. This heads towards Shiring, Tom said. The strangest name of them all. By noon, we had reached the edge of town. Mother gave us some dry prunes to chew while she argued with Tom whether we should head directly to town or past the palace of the so-called bishop. Tom was hopeful to find work at the palace, but Mother seemed uneasy. As we approached the building, Tom noticed the cold in Mother's eyes. Though she had agreed to accompany him to the bishop, she had remained quiet about her true feelings, while Tom didn't see it fit to ask. Gradually, the palace came into view. A servant to the bishop of Shiring agreed to talk to Tom. He was hesitant, but not unwilling to hire a master builder for the winter. His expression changed, though, when he noticed Mother and me. I am sorry, he said, not unkindly. Maybe the Earl of Shiring will hire you. His castle is nearby, and I heard he may be in dire need of people like you. He smiled encouragingly, then sent us off, claiming his bishop had business to attend to at Kingsbridge Priory. You don't know me. You're misjudging whatever it is I did. I'm willing to forgive your mistake if you accept my offer now. This is all about family honor to you, isn't it? Perhaps I should tell you about my mother. She was a happy person who loved to laugh and tell stories. But father made her miserable. Oh, he's not a bad man, but Solomon strict. She hated him so much she died from it. Are you saying you don't like me? You're so self Centered. You never think about anyone else's feelings. You have no refinement, and you can barely read. 
What were you expecting? One day, you will see that you are wrong. And then, I won't be so forgiving. All right. Let's hope it's true when the Earl needs us. Yeah, I'm starving. Alfred, keep an eye out. I'll be right back. And boys, try to get along. An eye out for what? Papa wants them to look for things that are broken. Some people don't know they need a mason until you show them. Papa could fix their walls or build a house. One man can build an entire house? <laughs> I want to see. Learn what you can, but don't stray too far. Ugh. Why won't anyone just give me something to eat? Jack, be careful. But don't get too close. Stay sharp, Jack. People are rarely what they seem. See that knight over there? What does he look like to you? He looks like a small bear. <laughs> True, but even small bears can have an appetite for blood. Just because we are out of the forest, that doesn't mean there are no wolves about. Hello, Jack. Have you ever been to a castle before? No. Castles are very safe places. People don't rob you so fast. Hmm. Mother told me stories about castles, about knights and princesses. Oh, like what? Like the one about Tristan and Isolde. They drank a potion and had to love each other for three years. I know that one. Jack, do you think there's a princess in this castle? It would be so nice to see a real princess one day. Watch. How do you do that? Like this. That's nothing fancy. Anyone can do that. Well, I could watch Jack all day. Suit yourself. Hey, boy, come here. Say, what do you think about Tom? He's nice. Well, let me tell you something. He may seem nice, but he really doesn't care about anyone but himself. The day my mother died, I tried to help by looking for water for soup, but he just scolded me for everything I did. So take my advice. If you and your mother want to stay, you better learn to shut up and put yourself second. That's all I'm saying. I can't believe the Earl of Lady's daughter can refuse him. How scandalous. Well, William Hanley is an idiot. I wouldn't marry him either. She deserves someone better. Hello, my name is Jack. She's an arrogant one, just like her father. Don't see that. It's not arrogant. It's nobility. Watch your step, you little twit. Don't mind him, boy. That's just William Hamley. He was hoping for a princess, but all he got was a boot. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Do you think he forgot something? His dignity, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs>
Look, you strike me as an honest worker, but we have a right who does all the repairs for us. Then something else, maybe? I heard rumours that there's all kinds of work here. Well, unfortunately, it's not the builders we're looking for. Actually, it's quite the opposite. I understand. Thank you for your consideration. Walk with me, boy. So, have you heard about anyone else who might need a mason? Hmm. Last summer they were building at the monastery in Shaftesbury. Even a fool can see these builders need work. If the Earl's not worrying about his stalls and his kitchens, it might be something else. They refused you. Oh, just because work really falls into one's lap, that doesn't mean there is none. I'll give this place a look over while you tell your mother to be patient. What are you looking for? Something to convince the Earl that keeping things the way they are won't do for long. Could be something small, like a washed out mortar or a loose column. Now, I need to see the hole before I can carve the rock. What do you need work for? It pays. It buys shelter and clothing and we don't have to starve. Not everyone can live in a forest, boy. No? No. People need to be around people. And for that, things have to be set in stone. Like the laws in towns, or rents, or wages. If everyone did whatever they liked, things would get very bad very quickly. Can't you work somewhere else? Not if we want to eat tonight. Alfred is angry. What? Why? He says you're selfish and too harsh. Thank you for telling me, Jack. I, I will talk to him later. You can build castles? Oh, if I have the money and the people, yes. Maybe one day I'll show you how it's done. Hmm. I'm going to talk to some people. You just keep an eye out. And if you see something I can fix, let me know. You want to be like us? Like you? Tell you what, snatch us some food from the cube, and we might train you. Very good. That should be a valuable first lesson. We have followers all over the south of England. Of course. You're the Earl, after all. A title doesn't guarantee anything, my son. I don't understand. Is that why you sent all those letters?
I'm sorry, boy, but Lady Aliena won't see any visitors today. Lady Aliena? A charming young woman. She lives on top of the keep. Like a princess? Well, no. Although, I suppose she would make a splendid queen indeed. For now, she is just the Earl of Shiring's daughter. And quite good at her role, if I may say so. And farewell to you. I found this in the keep's kitchen. Can you teach me how to be a knight now? Shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. You can't just steal from the Earl. We were messing with you, lad. Just messing. Put that thing away. Quick. Let's pretend we didn't see it. What is it, boy? Just want to stand there and stare. All right, then. Let's see what you've got. Are you a knight? No talking. How to be cheating. You're good. Could kill a boar with that stare. Pierce it like an arrow. Ever tried that, boy? Stare a boar to death? No, but I can kill a deer with a rock. <laughs> you know what had happened to a boy who claimed he'd killed a deer? Only the king is allowed to, right? Aye, or the queen for that matter. Whoever has their arse on the bloody throne end of summer. Used to be that anyone could hunt. But these are proper times now. Decent and orderly. <clears throat> At least when it comes to butchering deer, that is. Will you be fighting soon? Why are you asking? All right, let me tell you a secret. Can you keep a secret? What color is your shite boy? Brown. Nice. Mine's grey, like ash. But that's a secret, isn't it? For my shite's colour is neither your nor anyone else's business. So you better keep that to yourself. Got it? Hmm. Are you a knight? I'll be damned if I wasn't. Would have risked my life for nothing if all I was supposed to do was bake bread. Be warned, lad. Get a job that pays. Not one where you have to pay for a new horse every time someone kicks your ass. Being a knight costs you, especially when you're also a drunkard. Damn, if only I'd known. Huh. What a strange boy. There are so many knights here. Do you think there's also a princess? There is one. What? There is a princess here. Oh, show me. My lady? Yes, Matthew? There are two children downstairs, desperately wanting to see you. Children? A rather cheerful little girl, and an annoying boy. 
Well, considering that it is my role to tend to my father's guests, I believe I can see them. Your father let you renounce a wedding. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you declined this as well. <laughs> but a cheerful little girl. And an annoying boy. We will get along. You may bring them up. It's you. I noticed you and your parents from my window. What can I do for you? Um, you're quite shy, aren't you? Would you like something to eat? But they won't serve food yet. They do what I tell them. I will have Matthew get you some bread. Yes, please. Where's your mother? <clears throat> My mother died. Aren't you sad? I was, but that was a long time ago. My brother Richard can't even remember her. My mother's dead too. When did she die? Last week. Oh. Who's that woman with you then? That's my mother. And where's your father? I never had a father. <laughs> Where did you come from then? From my mother. All young things come from their mothers. What have fathers got to do with it? I think you should have a word with your mother. Come on, I want to show you something. Have you ever been up this high before? No. Wow. All the people look so small. Like little mice. You must be up here every day. I used to. But nowadays, I try to hold myself back. Why? We are about to make some great enemies. If our first assault fails, they may want to lay siege to our castle, so I will have to get used to staying up here for a long while. I suppose this view will bore me soon enough. Till then, I'm trying to keep it special. And you're sharing it with us? I don't think that I'll ever get bored by this. Come on, let's go back down. Matthew will take you to your parents. How did it go? Oh, she was so pretty. Don't you agree, Jack? Hmm. Where did you get that? Just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see we're going to be good friends. What is it, boy? Lady Aliena is expecting an attack. An attack? So, the Earl is planning to go to battle. That's very helpful, Jack. Now, why didn't you help me find some damage to the castle? The Earl might not want to fight if his defences are in bad shape. The battlements are broken. I noticed that already. Anything else? There is a wall without water. If that's true, you have a very keen eye. And the well is in bad repair. It is? Yeah, very good, Jack. That is one thing the Earl needs to get fixed for sure. Well, that should do for now. Now, yeah, stay sharp.
You did a very good job, son. Now, come along. You deserve to see if it works. Look, I'd like to give you work, but we don't need you. I just hope you're not expecting a siege soon. Why do you say that? Your defenses are in bad repair. Be specific, man. The mortar in your walls has come away in places. This leaves an opening for a crowbar, and once there's a hole, it's easy to pull the entire wall down. Anything else? Yeah. The keep has an undercroft with a wooden door. If I were attacking the keep, I'd go through that door and start a fire in the stores. And if you were the Earl, how would you prevent that? I'd have a pile of stone ready shaped and a supply of sand and lime for mortar. And a mason standing by ready to block up that doorway in times of danger. Matthew, may I have a word? Well, we have a home, for now. Is that all right for you all? Of course. Alfred? Why are you asking me? Because you're a builder. I think you have a say in it too. It's fine with me. Grab your things, everyone, and follow me. It's time we put a roof over our heads. And thus, Tom Builder had finally found work. Little did we know then that it wouldn't last for long. It's good you sent your brother to tell your flock in St. John's about your nomination. If you'd gone yourself, they might not have let you leave again. There is a good chance I will return to St. John's after the election today. Why so pessimistic? Many of the brothers still want Remigius to become prior. Herod. Yes? There was an incident with one of our novices. What kind of incident? Remigius caned him. He was bleeding all over. He could barely walk, but walk he did. We called out for him, but he did not turn around. He never looked back. He ran away? He is not the first. And it wasn't the first time Brother Marcus was punished either. Brother Marcus? Yes. He stole my keys and food. You reported him to Remigius. I did, but he is practically a child. <sighs> Remigius really goes too far. Last year, he hit a novice. The poor soul became deaf in one ear. <sighs> Tell me, Philip. What will be the first thing that you do when you're elected? We must become self-sufficient and pay off our debts. Yes, we must. It will take years of hard work. You just keep doing what you have always done, Milius. And we will teach the brothers out there to do the same. You cannot go in there. What was that? Who are these people? Hey! Step back. Step back, I say. What is going on out there? Soldiers? Did they start a war again? Those fools. Philip! 
It's Francis. They have Francis. Francis. <laughs> 